Sean, we've had so many amazing uh, Brazilian flair, Brazilian passion mm. um, inside the J League. But let's put the clock back all the way back to the beginning, right? And check out these legends to start off with. Right, he is a legend. He's he's the legend of legends. Yeah, it always has to start with him, doesn't it? When you're talking, I think yeah. about certainly about Brazilians in the J League, but possibly about the J League in general. Certainly, way back when it launched, he's and he obviously he's still here now with Kashima. So yeah, he's yeah really got a, an affiliation with the J League, and yeah, it's, it's weird though now looking at this footage. Like it does look like it looks like a long time ago, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. You know, the hairstyles, the fashion. Good 20, 20 years plus, isn't it? Like 25, 26, 27 years yeah, ago. Yeah, we should have been, what, 90? Yeah, almost, thir almost 30 now. We're getting old. We're getting yeah. old, mate. Oh, and here's the prince. Look at him. This guy, this this is a joke of a goal that's coming up. Is it, is it this, oh, this Yeah, no. this one's pretty this good. Was, this was good I think too. it's the next one. Yeah. But this one, yeah, this one's not bad. Let's, oh, the keeper could, oh, he could have had a touch there, maybe. We'll let him off. I think this might be the one. Yeah, this one is silly. Yeah, yeah. This is just sick. This is ridiculous. <laughs> you don't score goals like this in professional football. The more times I watch it, I always think uh, the defenders are at fault. They could have done better. And then you watch the replays and you're like, I'm not sure where. Like, I don't know where they could have got to the ball. Uh, I guess maybe these days someone would have just cleaned him out and then given away the penalty. I don't know. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Yeah. From Leonardo. And then, Careca. Oh. Yes. I remember his audacity. Yeah. yeah. Would he be able to get yeah. away with this, I reckon? Oh, well, you, will you, man. Mm. Cheeky, very cheeky. Very cheeky. Ah, and the Brazilian lads um, in Frugals, Yokohama, yes. right? I think yeah, some girl was definitely in the World Cup squad, right. wasn't it, when they won it? Yeah, there was Zinho. I think Zinho was in the 1994 World right. Cup. He played it practically okay. in the game. And there they are out at Mitsuzawa playing for, for Flugels. Flugels, yeah. In the rain. It looks a bit different in that the weather looks a bit different to probably what they were used to back home, doesn't it? <laughs> totally. <laughs> and Jorginho. Yeah, we saw, we saw these kind of goals from Jorginho quite often, right? Long Ranger. I always thought of him more as a as like a defensive player. I didn't know he, he had that in his locker. He was just yeah, before my time, but yeah, that is a finish. Oh, and the captain. Yeah. Dunga. He's a guy you would not, you wouldn't want to upset, would you? Whether you were playing against him or whether you were on his team, you, you definitely wouldn't want to upset Dunga. Not a single smile across his face after that. <laughs> no, he's, he's this typical Brazilian captain, like really tough, and you know. Yeah, oh, there you go. He smiled there. He smiled oh. at the end. Once the once the once the game was finished. Bebeto. Oh, very nice. It was him and Romario, wasn't it, back in yeah. those? back in 94 mm. and he's the one but I've got a, I've got a bit of a, a bone to pick with him because he's the one who, who created that that swinging celebration and they do that too much these days now oh yeah yeah I've yeah. had enough of that oh, no hey, more. we have to talk about Edmundo the animal <laughs> the what the animal the animal they call him the animal mate is that his yeah. nickname that's not very nice no no but the thing is his finishing his 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 barbarian s you know right. but also he was a bit of a party animal too i see i, I don't know allegedly allegedly i think we have to say allegedly allegedly right? allegedly, <laughs> allegedly and from here you know six seasons in a row we've got brazilian top scorers yes back in 2007 janinho marquinhos 2008 but first of all he's a beast wesley remember him was i just see these i was gonna say actually you said six years in a row up until 2008. I arrived in Japan in 2009, so I have to apologize to the Brazilian striking fraternity. Something something must have changed when I arrived. Yeah. Because um, they run right out there. But yeah, that is some finish. Yeah, and Emerson too. The speed which Emerson kind of just, you know, and most Brazilian players are quite famous before they come to the J League, but nobody knew about Emerson right. um, before he came. Uh, originally to Sapporo Consadore, I reckon. Right. And look at this. Boom! Oh dear, that is... That's, that should almost count double, shouldn't it? That's ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. We probably don't know what speed that was. These days you could probably get a tracking on the speed, but that was moving, wasn't it? Mm. Araujo. This is the guy at Gamba, right? 
Yep, at our show. Raujo. I remember I interviewed uh, Yasuhito Endo a long time ago. Right. And I asked him who the best player he played with was, and he said Araujo. And I didn't know who he was because I'd not been in Japan, in Japan at the time. But he said, yeah, he was a phenomenal player. Yeah. And his connection with the fans is something. Yeah, the fans like, like him. Look at this. <laughs> I think we're supposed to condemn those kind of scenes, right? We don't, don't want to see that. Yeah. Washington. Now, he, he was a really smart finisher, too. Very good yeah. in new conditions. Um, I saw him play. He came back for a like a did. testimonial or a charity match or something and I saw him play then and obviously he was a bit older but once the ball came to him I think he scored a couple of goals and you could see yeah this guy there's something you know that footballing sense that skill doesn't leave you yeah and there he's got past two of Japan's best defenses ever true 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 slam home what a player Magno Alves another one yeah Gamba had some good ones didn't they yeah well they've still actually if you say that they've still got what Patrick's there Leandro Pereira, yeah, they've got a good uh, good affinity with the Brazilian strikers. And this was when ah. Reds and Gamba were properly like the rivals, right? Right. Sold out stadiums, top of the league war. Oh, yeah. Nice cheap. Tough fit. fixtures, tough fixtures. Janinho. Janinho with hair. Yeah. Whenever since, since I got here, his hair was always shaved very close. I've not seen him with the uh, with that blue fun. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's balance. It's just, it's paid. Yeah. He was one of those, like, anywhere around the penalty area, it's pretty much going to be a goal. Lethal. Totally lethal. And Marquinhos. Yeah, talking of lethal. I think he's the highest scoring. Is he the highest scoring ever? Definitely Brazilian, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, he's the highest scoring, you know, um, foreigner uh, with 152 goals to his name. Yeah, he was just a guaranteed I think he played for a fair few clubs and it was just like yep. yeah you're just you're just buying yourself guaranteed goals with him mm. lethal from all around here yeah, in the penalty area out in the air both feet what a striker oh and he you know this we is know how he blossomed but th this is <laughs> that's like not even a rocket it's, it's a missile it's just it's foul play it's ridiculous does he do it from here too surely not Oh, yes, he does. Oh, this one was a bit more delicate, though. Yeah, yeah it was it another, another Not the uh, typical Roberto Carlos kind of stuff, you know. Yeah. And Franca. Yeah. Oh, I think did France score against England? I'm sure someone told me. Yeah, I, I, I think I remember that, too. Yeah. At Wembley, maybe, like a friendly or some kind of pre-World Cup. Oh, what a finish. Not in like a, you know, a full-on fixture. No. Probably in like a friendly. Yeah. Yeah, I remember his hairband. Yeah. Oh, and Joe. Of course we remember Joe because he was... Yeah, Joe. Yeah. This is, you know, just a couple of years ago. Yeah. He was having, just only needed one touch, didn't he? Totally. Yeah. World Cup player too. Oh, yeah. lovely. Great stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we miss him. So, Sean, all sorts of history made by those beautiful players that we just saw yeah. right now you know um there's a few of few uh favorites of mine in there too but what about yourself well this is the thing yeah before we before we came on we were asked to pick one and it, it was so difficult like you know who's the, the question the question was phrased like who do you think is the best brazilian and it was like well there's just so many different positions you know there's some of the ones we saw there like you said dunga just really changed the the culture got jubilar up there I was tempted by Marquinhos just because he was so good in front of goal. But the one that really stood out for me and left an impression, kept coming back to me, was Leandro Dominguez. Right. When he was at Casio Arezzo, I think around about 2010, 11, 12, he was just like, I don't know how to put it. He was so much fun to watch. Like he had that Brazilian flair, the technique, the, cheeky the cheekiness. Things. Yeah, cheekiness, exactly. Yeah, that's the word that... So he was one that I think, yeah, a lot of those players, as I said earlier, like they were kind of before I got here. So I hadn't watched them regularly. Mm. But seeing him throughout that season, especially the year they won J1 in 2011, it kind of just stuck with me. So, yeah, I think for me, I'd have to go with Leandro Dominguez because it was just it was so enjoyable watching him. There was mm. always something happening around him. Yeah. How about yeah. yourself? Um, me, I'm going to put the clock back all the way back to the beginning, you know, um, to uh, Kashima Atlas um, and Arsindo. Arsenio, right. his, you know, signature haircut, you know, yep. uh, that became, you know, a social boom in Japan. 
And those were the days when we didn't have like Instagram or Twitter or anything, mm. you know. There are a lot of TV commercials and with Al Cinder as the, as the main guy. But apart from being like a jolly chap, he was just a really good, uh, stunning football player. Yeah. The way he linked up with Zico, the way he linked up with the other um, Japanese players too. Um, and his stats for Kashima, ridiculous. It's like 50 goals in 71 games, which is just... You know, <laughs> 50 in 71, that, yeah, that is silly. Have you ever been tempted by the hairstyle yourself? Maybe uh, you out the back and... I think I'm okay. Maybe when I'm maybe 45 or 50. Uh, when I'm <laughs> there, maybe, but, you know, I'm okay for the moment, mate. Yeah. Well, he was back. I was disappointed because I'd heard all about his hairstyle and seen the clips. And I think it must have been the J-League's, maybe the 20th anniversary. Right. He was back. It was him and Robson Ponte were doing something before Reds played Kashima in, in uh-huh. Saitama. And he came out with Ponte. They came out together and he, he'd shaved it off. It was just now it's all just, it was all yeah, gone. I, know, I, was, I, know. I was really disappointed. I wanted to see it in the flesh, so to speak, in the hair, I suppose. Yeah. In the, in the hair, more like <laughs> No, but he was a quality player too. Don't forget to subscribe. 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 Don't forget to sub